where uh, the Islamic Republic is announcing it has a new president-elect. Reza Saya is watching developments from Abu Dhabi, and this is a big surprise. Uh, who's won? Tell us about the new president Iran is about to get. Yeah, this is an outcome that's going to stun a lot of people, especially regime critics who thought that a centrist candidate would never be able to beat the loyalist candidate, loyal to the regime, but indeed the winner of the 11th presidential elections of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, the lone uh, cleric uh, in this race, who came in and really prodded the opposition, the reformist movement in Iran, the pro-democracy activists to come out and, and vote for him uh, on a platform where he uh, asked for, for change in the opposition movement and much of Iran responded to him. Uh, he won by a, a vote of 18 million. 18 million votes uh, he secured. The next closest candidate, Mohammad Qalibov, the Tehran mayor, he secured only 6 million votes. Just a few weeks ago, very few Iran analysts and experts would have guessed that Hassan Rouhani would be able to win on the first day, uh, no less. But he has won. He secured more than 50% of the vote. That means there's not going to be a runoff next week. Hassan Rouhani will be the seventh president uh, of Iran. Jonathan? Reza, tell us more about him and why he was regarded as such an unlikely winner. Well, he's an establishment figure. He was part of the Islamic Revolution, viewed as very close to the supreme leader, a national security advisor, a former nuclear uh, negotiator. He came in as a centrist, but coming into this election, many analysts looked at the field that was dominated by regime loyalists, the ultra-conservatives, who were very close to the supreme leader, people like Saeed Jalili, viewed as the supreme leader's most loyal yes-man, the current nuclear negotiator. People like uh, Tehran's mayor, Mohammad Qalibov. The stage was set, it appeared, for one of these loyalists to win. But in came Hassan Rouhani, this dark horse underdog, and he started being tactfully but very passionately critical of the regime. He called for reform. He called for better relations with the West. And then all of a sudden, you had this opposition movement, remnants of the Green movement, who were so dejected after the results of the 2009 uh, elections. They started to respond uh, to his campaign speeches, to his televised debates. You talked to many of those people a few weeks ago. They said they're not going to vote. But in the coming weeks, they started to support him. And 70 percent turnout, more than 70 percent turnout, indicates that many in the opposition movement, the reformists, came out and helped them secure this victory, Jonathan. Reza Sayah live for us in Abu Dhabi and once again in a staged managed election in the Islamic Republic of Iran, a surprise result. Hassan Rouhani is elected president after just a single ballot. A centrist, a man regarded as potentially more sympathetic to reform, will now lead the Islamic Republic of Iran.